At what age did you have your first boyfriend? The data represent the ages of 40 women when they each had a boyfriend. Construct a group frequency distribution with five classes. How to construct a group frequency distribution table. First, find a range. Range is equal to highest minus lowest. The highest age is 27 and the lowest age is 13. 27 minus 13 is equal to 14. Step 2. Decide on the number of groups or classes. In this example, the number of groups or classes is 5. Step 3. Divide the range by the number of desired classes to find the class width. 14 divided by 5 is equal to 2.8, which is approximately equal to 3. Don't forget to round up. Our goal here is to divide the data into five groups or classes, each containing three numbers. Our starting point is the lowest age, which is 13. Remember that our class width is 3, meaning there are three numbers in each group. Let's count 13, 14, 15. Our first class is 13 to 15. The left number is the lower limit and the right member is the upper limit. To get the next lower limit, just add the class width to the previous lower limit. 13 plus 3 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19, 19 plus 3 is 22, 22 plus 3 is 25. To get the next upper limit, just add a class width to the previous upper limit. 15 plus 3 is 18, 18 plus 3 is 21, 21 plus 3 is 24, 24 plus 3 is 27. Now we have 5 classes in decreasing order. Each contains 3 data values. 25, 26, 27. 22, 23, 24. 19, 20, 21. 16, 17, 18. 13, 14, 15. The classes are arranged in decreasing order. 25 to 27 is the highest class interval, 13 to 15 is the lowest class interval. A frequency is a number of times a data value occurs. Let's count the number of times 13, 14, 15 occur in our data. 13, 15, 15, 3. How about 16, 17, 18? 18, 17, 18, 18, 16, 17, 16, 17, 16, 17, 16. 11. How about 19 to 21 20 20 20 20 21 20 19 20 20 19 20 21 21 19 14 
about 22 to 24. 22, 22, 23, 24, 24, 23, 23, 7. How about 25, 26, 27? 26, 27, 25, 26, 26. 5. Then add the frequency of each class. 5 plus 7 plus 14 plus 11 plus 3 is equal to 40. The total of the frequency represents the number of women included in the sample. Lower limit, the smallest data value that can be included in a class. Upper limit, the largest data value that can be included in a class. Class width, the difference between two consecutive lower limits. To construct a group frequency distribution, find the highest data value and the lowest data value. Subtract the lowest data value from the highest data value. Divide it by the number of desired classes to obtain the class width. Add the class width minus 1 to the lowest data value to get the upper limit. Then, add the class width to the lowest data value to get the next lower limit. Add the class width also to the upper limit to get the next upper limit. Find the frequency of each class, then find the total frequency. Thanks for watching.